are vlogging. So here's the deal. We are at the mall, about to, well about to be at the mall, uh, and we're going to go inside Sephora and collect some samples. Uh, and then we're going to do some science with those samples. Now I think that there's at least one item they probably won't give us a sample of, so we're going to have to go ahead and swab it in store and hope to not look tremendously sketchy. Um, but the way I see it, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. So okay, so here's the deal. We went into Sephora and we got some samples direct from the testers that they had out. Now the hypothesis here is that the the samples will, the, the testers might have more bacteria in them than the brand new item. So therefore we also had to buy the full size item that's uh, you know brand new and unopened. Uh, and then I also have a sample, so we'll just go over what we're going to do. We've got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. We've got an Anastasia Liquid Lipstick, which I took a swipe in the store of. And then I got a sample of the Clinique Moisture Surge, and I also have a mini size of that that has never been opened. So we're going to take those swatches, and we're going to put the, the, the product, and we're going to put it onto these agar plates. And then we're going to incubate them and compare the control to the experimental group. Got a sample. Oh, there's way more to do this with. There still should be less bacteria. Absolutely. The only problem is going to leave some of the auger. Alright, so there's our experimental group, which is the one from the tester, and then the one labeled C the control group that we purchased today. All right, round two, we've got NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Is it in there? There's like a tiny bit in there. <laughs> oh, okay, please, please can we show this to the camera? Should you ever ask for a sample of concealer from Sephora, that's what you get. Good luck. Oh, we've got enough to do this, this experiment and nothing else. <laughs> Pretty much. One of the reasons that I picked um, products like this is because you can't sanitize a liquid lipstick, nor can you sanitize a concealer, obviously. So if you go in and you get a um, uh, an in-store makeover or you try any of this stuff, it's, it's not been sanitized because there's, there's just no way to do it. So because of that, I think that there will be more bacterial growth in doing something like this versus an eyeshadow or a powder that you could sanitize. Now for the control group. It's not um, contamination in the auger. It's simply condensation from them being stacked together. For anyone's wondering. All right, next up we've got the Clinique Moisture Surge from the store. Uh, this container hadn't been used too terribly much, unlike a lot of the products that they had. This was probably about maybe a fourth of it was gone, so we'll see on this one. And it's, I got this from a different just employee. Like, she was much <laughs> more generous. We're just going to go all in with All right, here we go with the control. It's... All right, we've got everything labeled, so we are ready to incubate these guys and come back to them and compare growth. All right, ready for some grand conclusions? 
We are going to start with the NARS because it went the most as expected. So we have our control group where we don't really see anything going on. And then with the experimental group, we do have a little bit of growth. It's nothing too significant really, um, but you know, you would expect there to be something growing in there. Now the surprise, or rather the terrifying one, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this is the control it still has something growing in there not really sure why not sure if we got some some amount of contamination or what but we do have something in our brand new first time opened liquid lipstick and then in the experimental group the one from the store we do see a lot going on in there and I certainly do expect that after watching people directly apply lipsticks to their lips in the store Ugh, very cringeworthy. I definitely don't recommend doing that, and this right here is why. The last group is the Clinique Moisture Surge. In our control, we have absolutely nothing, which is what we should hope to have. And then in the experimental group, we actually have nothing as well. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. It almost looks like we might have a little bit of something going on there, but I can't really tell if that's the product itself. Anyway, it's overall pretty boring. As I did say, this was not too used up in the store. This does also contain a preservative, which that could be in impacting it as well. But we don't have anything growing in the experimental group, so good on Clinique, good on Sephora for that. Alright guys, so that is the experiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you are surprised by the outcomes of this or if it's pretty much as you expected. Thanks for watching.